is up YouTube how's everyone doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking this video is gonna be about some New Year's goals resolutions all that good stuff and uh, kind of my plans for 2020 possible plans so let's get into it let's make this quick and painless at the beginning of the year I swore I swore I was going to do better this year riding my bicycle, getting in more mileage than I did in 2018. In 2018, I got just over 2,000 miles, which is not good for a whole year. It was about 2,008 miles that I got in. This year, guys, I made plans, goals, resolutions to do better, and I did. Now, we still have a few days left in this month before 2020, but as of right now, I have done around 3,158 miles, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, Strava had dropped me a couple of times on a couple of rides, so I have them figured in on another area, but right now I'm kind of looking at my Strava results. So I've actually, I've got somewhere around... 3,160-ish miles in. Of course, we still have a few days left here this this uh, year, so I have the ability to get in a few more miles. Now, that's a pretty good jump from 2,000 to over 3,000. I'm very happy with that. Um, I have had some off days, uh, October, November, and a, a couple here in December, where my mileage isn't so great. October, the whole first half of October, I had problems with my bike, the Raleigh Redux. I had to get new wheels and, and, and stuff, so uh, it was a big ordeal. And being broke like I am, I had to save up, and I, I couldn't really ride the Raleigh. I do have a trail bike, the GT Pantera Comp, and I did do a couple little off-road rides here and there uh, during that time. And I even went for a couple of walks around the park and that. And So I did get in a little exercise. But I wasn't able to really get out there on the road. I'm not going to ride my, my GT trail bike on the road. It's not fun, especially with it being a plus size bike with nearly 3 inch tires. It's like riding an ATV on the road. So, anywho, with the lackluster last few months here, uh, I've still managed to get in over 3,000 miles. And probably I'll be somewhere around... 3,200 miles by the end of the year. So I'm happy with that. That's a that's a good bit more, and I'm very pleased with it. Now, going into 2020, I have a couple of plans. One plan I know is more doable probably than the other. One goal, one plan that I have that I've had since I started cycling in February of 2016 when I got my rally. Uh, I want to do a bicycle tour. Uh, now that could be anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Uh, I assume uh, if I manage to do it, it's going to be in the under week, you know, kind of time frame. I don't want to be out there forever. And not only that, I, I need to find someone to go with me. I don't want to go alone. And there's things like buying racks and panniers and a possible sleeping bag and a possible tent. It just depends on if I want to camp out along the way or if I want to stop and get a cheap little motel room along the way. Um, I've never camped out. I'm 48 years old, live in the South. I'm a dude, never camped out. I'm not much of that kind of a guy. I'm not, I'm not like that sort of a fella, but I'm willing to give it a shot if I choose to. Uh, that's one uh, possible goal for 2020. The second possible goal is I've been wanting to go to a real bicycle park, an off-road uh, park such as like Windrock over in uh, East Tennessee, places like that. Um, now, I don't know if I can manage it on my GT Pantera Comp. It is just kind of a low-range, low-model, you know, uh, nothing spectacular hardtail. Uh, now, I'm not some radical cyclist who's looking to 
jump and gap and do tricks and all that kind of stuff and drops and all these different things. So I'm sure that they have some trails out there that would be more catered to myself and to my bike. But they also have rental bikes out there as well. And I would, I'd probably go that route. I'd, I'd, I'd look into it and probably go that route just for safety. Um, you never, you never know. And plus, uh, less wear, wear and tear on my GT. So those are two cycling goals that I have possible for 2020. Uh, with the bicycle park being maybe more the reality. Um, something else that I'm looking at is, if you know, uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know the history of my shoulders. I used to work out a lot. Uh, my shoulders are damaged. However, that isn't necessarily the problem. The problem really started whenever I tried to play disc golf from the very first day. Threw it, and I throw like hard. I'm, I'm crazy when I play, so I throw hard. I could probably throw the disc quarter mile like Uncle Rico on Napoleon Dynamite except not pigskin but a disc I could throw that disc a quarter mile mm. anyway very first day man I'm hurting bad hurting 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 and it gets worse and it's definitely a soft tissue kind of a problem it goes down in my bicep my tricep and there's knots all in here and, and I've been dealing with this for a long time and and uh, it's kind of hindered my working out because I can't do anything. I can't do bench pressing with any sort of weight or any sort of width or anything. I can't do shoulder presses. I can't do flies. I can't even reach back to grab the bar to do squats. Um, it's just a horrible pain that just feels like it's ripping down into my into my soft tissue here. And it just, it's really painful. So that's what I'm dealing with. But I've spoken to a lady uh, who does deep tissue massages, and I'm hoping to hook up with her early this year, uh, early in 2020, and get some work going on and see if we can't break up some more of that tissue. Now, I have had a little bit of a breakthrough. I don't know why or how, but I do pinch, and I, and I try to massage and, and gouge on my arm and all in here sometimes. Uh, the last few days, uh, I have actually been able to do some push-ups. Uh, now, I'm not going wide, and I'm not trying to do anything crazy, and uh, it's just basic push-ups. And I'm actually able to do them without really any pain. I was very surprised, because again, I can't do anything. I can't do like dips, I can't really do anything overhead, no, no nothing like that. Because it just puts so much uh, pain in here. So, But anyway, I am able to do some push-ups, which is amazing. Uh, so that's another thing that I'm looking forward to in 2020. Another thing in 2020 is, yes, I'm going to continue riding my bike. It could be seven days a week. It could be two days a week. I don't know. I'm not looking uh, for any certain goals as far as numbers, miles, and stuff. I'm just looking to stay active because there's no doubt in my mind that riding this bike, which is my only activity, is helping to keep me alive. Uh, not only because I suffer from depression, but, uh, you know, hey, I have a typical American diet. I'm 48 years old. I've been on high blood pressure and high cholesterol medication for 20 years or so. I have gout, um, all that good stuff. So I have a feeling that cycling is helping to keep things pumping through the arteries and the veins and, and kind of helping me out a little bit. So... Uh, I'm, I'm going to continue cycling. However, I am looking to get back in uh, to working out. So incorporating that with riding bikes, uh, possibly getting a trainer for the indoors uh, for cycling. I used to have one uh, a few years back, and it was and that's before I even started cycling. I just had an old road bike and I stuck on there and I'd pedal around for a little bit. But I'm looking at maybe that and maybe Zwift, something like that. Uh, those of you who know Zwift know what I'm talking about. It's an, it's a cycling app that you can watch a screen, and it's like a virtual world, like you're riding your bicycle, and you can compete against people, or you can just go for rides all around the world, whatever. So that's interesting, and it's a possibility. I might incorporate those two things, so I might have less bike rides, and I might get in some some uh, workout time and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful 
uh, that I can do that because we all need to work out. We need to keep some muscle mass because after about the age of 30, uh, you start dropping, losing muscle really quick. Uh, and I've lost a lot. I've lost a lot of size, a lot of strength and ability. So I'm hoping to do that. And also, I don't know if I'm on three or four or five, but I'm hoping in 2020 I can do a little bit more art, draw a little bit more, maybe paint again, uh, do some photography, coloring, that type of stuff. Uh, it, it's great for the mind. It's great for being creative. And I enjoy doing it. And, and all this, all these things I'm talking about are huge loves and passions in my life and have been since I was a kid. Um, even as far as photography, I loved photography at a young, younger age. I even took a couple of classes in high school. Uh, I loved it. It, it. You know, I didn't do well because I didn't like to read and study and do the homework and that. But I enjoyed the, the work time where you got to do the picture taking and the developing of the film and all that kind of stuff uh i just you know i love these kind of things and it's a part of my heart mind and soul i love it so i'm hoping to get back to doing a little more of these things and also on that list is video games i'm a huge video gamer or i used to be uh, the last several years i've been just kind of hit and miss you know i might play a game and i might actually beat a game uh but it's once a year, once every couple of years, or something like that, and I might play, you might see me post videos of playing video games, but it's only just a little bit here, a little bit there, and, uh, and I want to get back to jumping in there a little bit, I don't want to be competitive like I used to be, and all crazed and everything, but I hope to just get back to just a little bit more enjoyment of playing video games, they're really good for hand-eye coordination, and just uh, keeping your brain moving and working and, and all that good stuff. Video games are good for you. Uh, in moderation, just like everything else. Just like cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are good for you. Argue with me about that. Don't argue with me about that. So anyways, guys, those are a few things I'm looking forward to and uh, in uh, 2020. And I hope to accomplish some of them. Uh, one of them, a couple of them, all of them. Whatever the case may be, as long as you're moving forward and doing a little better than you did last time and making yourself happier than you were before, you're succeeding. You're pressing on in life and you're succeeding. Uh, I hope the best for everyone in the new year. I uh, hope you have a good Christmas, holiday time, whatever uh, you celebrate, whatever you do. Um, I hope your 2020 is great. I hope you accomplish something in life. I hope that I inspire you to do things such as ride bikes or work out or play video games or draw, paint, photography, walk, disc golf even. Just watch the shoulders. Uh, I hope I inspire you and I hope you enjoy my videos. I do it all for free. I do it all for fun. I do it because I love myself. I do it because I love y'all. And I hope to carry on and keep doing this even with the whole Kappa mess going on, the FTC and all that. I hope we all pull through all that and we can still enjoy YouTube and sharing our lives and our videos with one another. So guys, have a ha ha happy new year. <laughs> and don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and have a ho 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 happy time doing it. We'll see you guys later. I'm fixing to go for a bike ride. See ya.